All right, so I have been trying to figure out the lesson that can be learned from the Kiki Palmer situation. And I think that there is a lesson to be learned. And it's funny because just a few days ago, I feel like I tapped into that lesson and it's just kind of full circle that this happened. And over the weekend, just so many things have been revealed about her partner, um, about things that she said on the Steve Harvey show, about um, some of her partner's past, which I don't think that a lot of us actually um, thought of her partner and like his career and um and not just saying that is he adequate for Kiki, but Kiki is only 29 years old. So I feel that a lot of us have this kind of little sister, little cousin type of love for Kiki Palmer. And I think that, okay, so before she got pregnant, Kiki was very thin and she had uh, expressed openly in the past that she had had acne issues. Fast forward, she gets pregnant, acne clears up. She goes from being really tiny to being nice and healthy, curvy. And she kind of breaks a lot of moles and a lot of the stereotypes of the snapback body of being like really skinny and then having the baby and getting back into being skinny. Like she shows like her body really adjusted in a way that a lot of women are envying and a lot of men are keeping their eyes on since she had the baby, right? And I think that the guy who she's with, who I think she's still with him, I think that when he got with her, I think that he saw her as a very small, scrawny, sassy, uh, non-threatening person who would be loyal to him and that he was kind of the prize. And I say that he was the prize because of the fact that when Kiki went on the Steve Harvey show, she said that her requirement for a guy was a pretty boy. She didn't talk about, she said she didn't want a billionaire or something like that. She didn't like mention a lot of success or things of that sort. It was a characteristic that was very surface level and shallow. And when I talk about this being full circle, the video that I made a few days ago, which you guys can see on my page, it's the one where it's a guy dancing in the background. It's a black and white um, video and I'm like in the corner and I'm in color, but it's a black and white video of a guy dancing. And I saw this guy as being someone who actually looked like a good time and that looked like he, I mean, to me, he looked relatively attractive. Um, and I was looking at it from a perspective of characteristic he looked like a person who would be a good time to hang out with a good time to have dinner with a person who doesn't mind being silly a person that doesn't mind publicly being silly a person that enjoys himself and a person that physical physically looks different than what I think like if a person had to imagine their dream guy like oh this and this and this and this and this like that person that I would have dreamt about years ago and would have made physical attributes something so important, current day, my thing is that, you know, like I would prefer a guy that, you know, if that he has all his teeth, if not, let's get some of those in, let's get some of those fixed. My guy doesn't have perfect teeth. I'm looking for a guy who's stable, a guy who is um, uh, successful in his own right, a guy who's comfortable, who's secure. I'm a person that travels, so I need a person that trusts me and that I can trust. These are things that like physically, they don't mean, like physically, you can't like, you can't tell me what that person looks like. That's a characteristic. And there are certain things that come with that comfort and all this different stuff that will soothe you. And it's just not like a physical face, a, a physical attribute. And Kiki's uh, requirement that she put on a national platform was that the guy needed to be a pretty boy. And if we look at like pretty boys, like by, I wouldn't say definition, but like they don't have like, they seem like that if a person is described as a pretty boy, you know, pretty Ricky's what they call them. Like kind of that is more of a person who's self-centered. And it's kind of crazy that Kiki would find a guy like Darius attractive and or um, that she would decide to mate with him and reproduce. I mean, date him is one thing, but like on a level of success, He's not there. He is a person that's trying to get into the industry. So I see where Kiki would benefit him. 
um, when it comes to um, just financial, even if let's say if he decided not to, um, not to, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh my God. If he decided not to do the, uh, like not to really focus on his acting career, if he decided not to do that, then he still would have so much comfort because Kiki is kind of like his meal ticket. And Steve Harvey said some really good things. Like I'm not a Steve Harvey fan, but he did say some, a lot of really good things where he said that he, that, that Kiki needed to find a guy who could at least keep up with her lifestyle, not bring him into her lifestyle. His minimum should be her lifestyle. And I think that that's not something that's too much to ask. And I think that where Kiki is in her career, I think there are plenty of people who are, whether hedge fund managers, um, you know, or just people who are also in the industry, you know, doctors, you know, people who are successful in their own right. I think there are plenty of people who Kiki could have found that would have had enough awareness to understand that Kiki Palmer in herself is a brand in that the brand that she's created over the last two decades has been a pretty squeaky clean brand in that something like publicly embarrassing her for her embracing her mom bod. Yet we can say that the outfit was questionable. We can say that her going on stage and hugging an old friend, because from what I understand, her and, and Usher know each other. But even if, you know, it's just somebody who she's, you know, swooned over for years, even if he had addressed it at home and they had made a had a, an adult sit down conversation about this is how this made me feel and this is why I'd appreciate if we didn't do this to each other. Things of that sort, that is how adults handle things. And I think that the way that Kiki Palmer's partner responded, it had nothing to do with her outfit. It had everything to do with his insecurities because he can't bring a quarter, a, a a tenth of just the physical things that um, that materialistic things that Usher can provide for Kiki. Let's not even include the respect, the the notoriety, all of the different that doors that would open. You know, even more doors. It's not like Kiki can't open her own doors. But I think that a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of this is a lesson to be learned that looking beyond a person's physical attribute in Choosing wisely who you reproduce with is important because Kiki is tied to this guy forever. And I don't know if their relationship will, you know, will rekindle. Right now they're having their little attitude, you know, they're whatever, they're having their moment. They probably will get back together. But at the end of the day, he has publicly embarrassed himself and he's also embarrassed her. And it's something that should have been done in an adult like way. Not only that, people kind of just let him be Kiki Palmer's baby daddy and, and in the background, and they didn't pay him much mind. They've only been dating for a little while anyway. But now they've dug up some of his past, and with his past, it definitely has turned a lot of people off from him and Kiki dating. And it goes to show you that, you know, like sometimes it's not just a financial thing with a guy. Sometimes it is a a class thing. It is, and, and that's a whole nother video, whole nother video about dating a guy who is of a lower social class. Um, and I don't mean lower in a way of like degrading, but you know, there are different classes of society. I we all are, are aware of it and, 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 you know, like code switch and all the stuff. But there are certain things that, uh, you know, like the older you get and the more that you get into different circles, you're like, okay, this is appropriate here. This is appropriate here. This is appropriate here. And sometimes with men, that isn't as easy to adjust to as women end up adjusting to it. So anyway, that's my two cent on the Kiki Palmer situation. I don't know what you all thought about it, but it has been something that has been consuming my feet for the last few days. And I figured I would discuss it, especially since it it just seemed so perfect to tie to the video that I did the other day. <laughs>